day 306, late check-in, 12 o'clock, been running around like a blue ass fly. Shares are arriving. Bobcat is going crazy. The painter's doing doors. Labor is doing concrete. Mason's doing walls. So yeah, pretty busy day. So the guys are just putting a little temporary base down on here at the moment, just so that we can actually cover, carry a path all the way around. So again, we're gonna go with the planter. Everyone sort of um, agreed. Sort of a 12 inch planter all the way along the side and then a concrete um, path all the way around. I've asked them to go at least two inches down all the way around so I'm gonna to wanna to pave all of that. I don't want that concrete. Concrete's ugly. So we need to try and find some nice paving slabs that go over the whole lot. So um, if anybody does come down and rent the back of the house or we need to take anything up here, we can path down the side, around the front and then along here. Obviously this is a bit of an eyesore at the moment but it's certainly not the end product, that's for sure. Um, Masons are doing the back of the wall. They're trying to do it from this side, bless them. So trying to do a good plaster finish hanging over the wall is always very difficult. I think they're gonna try and jump over and do some on the other side as well. But a lot of it's been done from here. This door frame is gonna be satin wood at some stage. So Sherwin's just painting it down and filling it, making sure it all looks good. And then we'll get that all satin wood. We'll get a bit of glass to go in there as well at some stage. Um, this has been filled. are we Yankee man in the house nothing's happened down here today obviously because they're just busy around there um, they've scraped most of the actual um, bits off the patio which is good giving it a good wash because at the moment there's lots of mortar on here so they've managed to scrape most of it off by the looks of it I'm sure there's still work to be done but that's something we can do another day Masons obviously are going to be cracking on and finishing that today. Bobcat man's back in here today. So we want to try and scrape this out now and put marl in here. So we need as much marl put through here to here as possible. Should have really put it down here, but it looks like it's got some there anyway. Um, and then the side return. Side return now looks like this. So it's got some boxing in. So we've gone for a 12 inch side piece with a little bit of a concrete side. And then over here is being flattened and leveled out as well, which is actually a lot better. We need to get that end piece down near the actual telegraph pole filled as well. It's one thing we haven't done. Um, liquor paint on the side. First liquor paint, obviously. Just trying to brighten it up, make it look a little bit nicer than the concrete jungle that it is. Still work to be done there, obviously. Still need to get another coat on here. The chisel better make the driveway out. We've got around here. So we're still gonna have to try and get stuff down there as well. I need all that out. I need all of that out. I need all of this put in there. I need marl in here. Um, so we need to take this, this bit of wood off the floor. We need to get everything propped up underneath the water. Get some marl underneath here, get that tightened and then get that wall plastered. Oh, you have mail. So, um, obviously on the outsides, this was done the other day, we've still got to get some grey on there. The wall's done, but as you can see, as soon as you put a new grey on the wall, you get a bit of a difference in colour, as you can see. Bit of a pain, but that's the way it is. Need to get this all swept up, obviously, because this lands up in the road. A little bit of damage going on there, look. I can't understand why they haven't got a board over here. We've got a board on it. Put a board over it. Plywood over there, look. Put a bit of plywood over it, won't happen. Need to do it on that bit as well. So he's taking a bit of mud out here, look, because obviously that's going to be plywood eventually. Plywood, did I say plywood? meant mal, mal feel. Got plywood on the brain. So I'm not too sure why they're concrete in here anyway, but again, eventually it will be a concrete path all the way around. Um, but at the moment, obviously we're not quite ready for that. Um, so I want it lower so I can actually take the slabs up. That's the aim. So we're gonna need to try and get that a bit smoother and a bit more level. It's good lad is. It's got pace, I like pace. Pace is important. So, 
But anyway, as, as you can see, the mile field's been put down the wall as well. The soil's been backfilled as well. So now we're at a stage now where we've got that level that needs to be out. We still need to get some more mud and everything down the side, which is something we're gonna have to look at. How we go about doing that, I'm not too sure. We didn't think about that yesterday, really, before we start putting any mud down. But anyway, all these tables are here because we've got a few people coming over for some drinks tomorrow. So just trying to get things a little bit more ready and a bit more presentable for that. All things have changed from now until then. We've got doors going in as we speak, and the electrician's been out. So as far as we're the electrician has sorted out my washing machine point. So I'm going to get the washing machine away. He's put a couple of extra points on. He's fixed up my LED mirror in the bathroom. So thanks, Mel, for doing that. That shows such short notice. Um, and we've got two doors going as we speak, both my door's bathroom door, uh, bedroom door and also our bedroom door. So two doors going on and I'll film those in a second a little bit more detail. Okay, so let me show you some of the doors and the frames. This is how they start. So they're all four foot by eight foot. So as you can appreciate, in Barbados, there is nowhere that does an eight foot by four foot door frame. So we have to have them made. So this is a frame that's been made waiting to go in. And this is one of the doors. It marks already. Not a good start. But anyway, the doors themselves look like this. So they're very, very big. And they're beautiful when they're in. I just need to get them in, handles on, door frames in, and also things like all the screws and all the architraves and that just all, all needs to be sanded down and put in properly so we can actually get the architraves put on. Um, we've got a bathroom door, which is great. So hopefully we're going to get the bedroom door. Now this one, we're thinking about actually mounting it flush with here um, and having the door handle this side so the door opens that way and actually having it as a secret door. So as much as it will have a frame on here, we'll have no architrave. We're just going to have a door that you push and it clicks open. So it'll be handleless, just a panel. So rather than obviously sitting over here, and seeing a door handle and hinges, I'm thinking about putting secret hinges in here. Um, so secret hinges are the ones that are hidden. So rather than having a long round bolt of hinges hanging out, um, three of them up the door, having them actually in the wall itself and frame um, into the door. So they're, um, they're on like teeth that sort of open like this internally. So from the outside, there is no hinges and there is no door handles. Um, the downside to that obviously is trying to get this door frame um, into that slot and having it filled all the way around with movement in the door frame and not having that crack is gonna be near on impossible. So I'm not too sure how we can get around doing that. Um, any ideas from anybody, let me know. Obviously fixing it with, once we finished it, putting white silicone all the way around it so it can move with the actual door and door frame as and when the door moves and, uh, and shakes. It might be an idea. Um, but obviously as soon as we put that in there and paint it, um, and if we use anything like a compound or a filler then it's just, just going to crack with the movement of the doors and we want to do the same with this one here so here we intend on having again the same thing a door even with a skirting board on the front of the door so it lo just looks like it's just a black line and that is it and then you'll have a skirting board on the front and again that door will open this way as well so in here there's two secret doors that was the aim whether we're going to get around doing that i really don't know so anyway i'll talk to you in a minute about that because i need to work out whether we're going to be able to do it um, the architrave is still be needed, obviously, because it will still be at the door stopper, should I say. The doors will still come in and stop, uh, but obviously the door itself will be flush with no handles. Uh, and then we've got these magnetic things that you literally push, push the door, it clicks and it pushes the door open. So that's how I see the door opening. Um, the bedroom door down here has been installed as we speak. My wife with a gob. Um, cleaner, bless her, trying to clean while this man's making mess. Um, so this one's obviously going in here. So there's the frame in. Anyway. So that is those. Um, with regards to the um, kitchens, I've been down the day to try and see if we can match the colour, and we're still massively struggling with that. Um, I've got the wood in my car, the colour wise, I just don't think we're going to be able to do it. So it's looking like we're going to have to phone England and order two of these, two sets of these, sorry, two sets of these, and just mount them 
um, from England, but obviously that will take four or five weeks to come. Um, but I think it's the only way we're going to get it in and get it done as it needs to be done. So there's no real other way around it, unfortunately. Um, but anyway, we tried. We, at least we gave it a go. And he's willing to literally spray all of these doors in the same colour if I want to. So he'll make these two, he'll make these two, and take all of them off and spray all of them so they're all the same colour. But I just think it's just too much work for the sake of just ordering eight unit, eight cupboard doors from the UK, getting them sent, getting them installed. I think it's a lot easier just to do that. But fair play for him to offer that's for sure. Okay, other than that, that's where we are so far. I will check in with you a little bit later on. Um, as and when there's any more changes, that's for sure. Thank you. Okay, we're three o'clock. Quite a lot done today. Let's have a quick update where we are. So, the world, guys on the wall have done a great job. Obviously, they've been trying to plaster from this side. Um, rather than going over and trampling over next door's flowers, which is awesome. Um, so the wall itself is obviously pretty much done on this side. The top and the uh, column tops have still got to be done. Um, on the other side now we're looking a bit like that. So there's a couple of bits still need to be done. That, that fascia there still needs to be done, obviously. Um, but everything will end up being like this on the other side. And then we've got a trial plastic the other side as well for the columns because that's what his finish is. So they're just finishing off all the columns basically. Um, he's over here at the moment just finishing this little concrete step that the guys have poured. Just trying to help them make sure that finishes as it should do. Um, Sherwin's up there making sure that all the door frames, window frames, etc. are all painted in nice. Huh? Oh, we want it run this way. Yeah, definitely got to run this way. Um, this little base has been put down obviously just for us to have walking ability first but then we'll actually find some blocks put some blocks on there some nice limestones or so the the aim is to have a little pathway that goes along here past this manhole to the wall and then shoot all the way across and then go back that way so the um, the box work has been created and a little tiny concrete retainer has been made down the side just so that we can actually get the 12 inch dug out down here and have this all mud um, and flower bed and then this will be concrete again two inches lower so that later on we can put something with stone on here that's the aim anyway so this will continue tomorrow we'll take this all the way down to the end and duck that across and do this tomorrow morning as well so hopefully by uh, midday early afternoon it will be set and we can walk upon it um, again the whole wall in the front here has been painted this whole wall, whole wall although we've got a little bit of a colour difference at the top up there for some reason um, but yeah that's pretty much all been painted all the actual inners have been painted and the whites have been painted as well just to make that a little bit brighter and shinier um in here's being cleaned out um bobcat man let's have a look out here bobcat man's been on a mission has some led lights installed here and here um, the bobcat man is going crazy down there bobcat's being loaded up good these guys have been brilliant by the way so anyone that wants a bobcat company let me know i'll give you the number they've been very good very efficient quick they're on the actual time time uh, time stamp but bloody good bloody effective um, and then around here what's happened is we put more sand around here to get more of a more of a height um, in front of the house to ensure that the rain can come away um, and we've installed a couple of lights, light there, light there, light there, some lights around the actual columns. Um, so yeah, it's actually quite nice. Um, obviously we've got to get this bit done now, so we've got to paint around here. So tomorrow I'll get the guys to come around and put a lick of paint around the front of the pool because that was where we plastered the top. And it's got to be finished off. Um, we'll stick the shower head up tomorrow on the shower wall and install another LED light on the back of that. Um, another LED light here, just to shine up a little bit more. Um, and. Uh, Obviously, whilst they're in here, they created a little bit of havoc, so they just straightened all this out for us. Still a little bit more to be done with regards to raking, etc., but not a bad job, bearing in mind that he's been in there heavy. Um, and then what we've got to try and do really is hose this down, because this is uh, very, very dusty. Um, it just causes havoc, so we'll have to get a hose on here tomorrow, get all this hosed off. But all this has been taken out. This is all rubble and mud. That's all been taken out. This has been levelled. Um, yeah, pretty much a good job, so all pretty good up here a few stones need to be taken away but other than that good job and a good job 
Uh, doors are still being finished off inside. I've just fitted the bathroom door locks, that's all done. Uh, we'll get another coat of white on here tomorrow, because as you can see, there's a lot of striping on it. So it was just a primer coat that we put on. So we'll get that done tomorrow. See how that pans out. Some more chicken will be very shortly.